Abia State have arrested some members of the indigenous people of Biafra for their alleged involvement in homicide and burning down of vehicles. The State Police Commissioner Anthony Obizi says the suspects have been charged to court and he maintains that he would continue to ensure the security of lives and property. The police chief was speaking at the interactive session held at the officers' mess in Umahia where he made it clear that it's the statutory mandate of the police to sustain the peace in the state. We will have the bad intelligence report of that. On computer building, there were you no, know, and some of the areas that were being used to train BSS, they are found to be service. And we confirm that intelligence. Would you go or not go? Would you say because you went the first time, you should not go the second time? When we went the first time, there was no longer the advanced flag. You know, I bought the advanced flag. I stayed there. Then, after that, they refused. So, if a particular place is used to commit crime. You do not go there. One of the other person who bought the vehicle and killed somebody, just been arrested. And because the life goes on propaganda, you no, know, you should be allowed to take stop the life of everybody and get all this you know, you know, in informed youth and put them in front to do all those things. If you allow your situation to be taken over by hoodlums and causing mayhem and killing a human being, burning and only a duty to make sure that property and life are protected. Okay, um, we are, we are, we are live here now, um, our people were arrested uh, yesterday at Atulare, uh, right here in the States here, they have now been released, so we want to, you know, hear from them, uh, what happened to them, and uh, what they have gone through in, in between yesterday and now, and so this is Gossi Lewa reporting for Family Writers Press. Yeah, so, so one to Samuel, we know you, sir. My name is Samuel Womanze, a coordinator of Rumo Doras Locatelari, a native of Umunoch, Umunoch, other states. Yeah. Okay. So now, what happened to you, and um, uh, what happened yesterday, and what did you see? What did you see? I went yesterday to NDLA. For them to release one of our brother that they hold since three days ago. After they promised us the first and second day went, we come to the third day. They see, they see that they're not going to release him and we should bear 100,000. But we told them we don't have that money. They said, okay, what I will do now is allow my people to go back and come back with a few people. Okay, uh, after Dragon on it, we accepted to go and tell our brothers to go back. I said, we come back from the gate, coming outside, start yelling, gunshot. And the gas, they begin to throw gas anywhere, everywhere. Because of, we agreed that we will settle everything when I came back. I do not even run. But when they start giving gas, I have to cross the other road. When I'm crossing the other road, they rush me, two policemen rush me. Police station. Uh, 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 police station. Because the DPO is there. It's the DPO that is order to be arresting people and shooting. So when I, I cross over, they, they cross me with two policemen with their gun, surrender me, and they get to hit me, their gun on my back and my face. I dragged me back to the NDL office 
when we enter the compound, as we are dragging, me and the daughter young man fell inside the uh, swamp. You can see this place, and my trousers everywhere was same. The letter telling me inside begin to start beating me. I tell you why people beating me. At the time, they took us to their cell, then the cell. We have more than 200 people there to the two sides of cell. They let us bring us out and take us to give to snap a picture. I know when they took that picture, they're going to sell all manner of lights. That yesterday. Then they took us to the, with their healers. They carry us as if we are criminal. They say nobody should raise his face. They place us on the floor of the, uh, the healers and use their leg much on top of them, on top of us until we reach to the society where they put us inside cell. Dear, I want grace to dear our brothers. After a lot of consultation, they release us today. But they still hold our flag and my dear friend card. Okay. Now we know that we're going to come back by Thursday next week. Mm. Before they will miss that one. Okay, now, do you have any injury on you? Did they beat you anywhere? I can already see that your eye is... My um, eyes, I cannot even see well with these eyes. The eyes, even today, is fair. Like today, blood, everything is crossing out. And this eye now is almost damaged. Dear friends all over the world, you can see this. Um, his eye is closed already. One of his eye now is damaged. He can't see with that eye now, as we speak. This is what is happening right here in Iguacha. Look, look at it. His eye is completely damaged. One of his eyes now. So now, now, uh, what are they saying about the items they are still holding? They told us, we insist to carry our item. They said we should come back next week, Thursday. When we come back, we'll be coming there according to... Uh, so, can, can you open the eye at all? The, the blood, the, there is blood inside the eye. The eye is bloody. Ah, sorry, sir. So, um, they say that we should, when we come back next week, they can release that one for us. After we insist that they refuse to release it to us, we have to leave that place. The name of DPO is Sunny, the one that's in charge of our power. Sunny, right? Yes. Okay, no problem. Um, let's uh, hear from this, our brother. My brother, um, can you tell us your name, where you come from, and uh, what happened to you? My name is Philip Achibanda. I come from Akwaibom State. I was yesterday in Atilali. I told my people to go the movement to go and bring our brother back. As we go there, the quarrel. So our head has been times I go and meet them, then talk as human beings. As they say, maybe we go back. Everybody, our master don't come back to terror to go back. As we in the coming outside gate, now when they start to shoot them and shoot the shagas. So everybody start to run. And I see as they start to pursue us, come and hold us, start beating us, and tear my clothes and wearing my body. Carry okay. us inside. Go and use you and kick me, wound me, all my eyes. Okay. Now, now you can see this man's eye as well. This very eye here is also damaged. This is what they are doing to us. The world should be aware of this. No problem. Um, uh, okay, your clue was torn. Do you have any injury in uh, any part of your body? No. Okay, you can see it. How they tore his clothes uh, just to intimidate us. This is what we are going through here in Nigwata. Uh, my brother, may I know you, please? Okay. My name is Sondogo. I come from Crossing State, Ugaga, Ugaga community, Yala. My coordinator told me that they arrest one of our brother on, on Wednesday. So everybody should come out to Rumudara. So when we come out to Rumudara, they say uh, that our coordinator we should bring hundred thousand before they will release our coordinator. We tell them that we don't have we don't have hundred thousand naira. We now plead with them, begging them. They say okay, we, uh, our uh, the second coordinator should carry us and go then and come back with some people later in the day. Well, we turn our back, started going there, they now started shooting guns and, and tear gas. Then they arrest four of us, four of us, started beating us, beating us. Even me personally, they hit me gun on my neck. On your neck? Now I cannot, if I touch my neck, now I, 
I feel some pain inside my brain. Okay, so, which means you can't you can't move yeah, your neck now. I can't now. turn my neck. Yes. They, they watch you see this. Yes. This is what we are I, going through. I can't turn my neck. So when they take uh, off for a police station, mm. now, they are the one who arrest us. They take uh, take you to uh, state CID. They now turn our face upside down. Mm. Say nobody should look up. And, and face your, your yeah. face on the ground, on the ground inside yeah. the hillock. Yeah, then sit on top of on top of four. And be matching you, Abi. Yes. So when we get to the state CID, they say we will be criminal. Say uh, Nandi Kanu is a uh, is a uh, uh, illegal. Uh, yes. Yes. Say no. They will not tell and say uh, say uh, they ask us how much how much uh, are they paying us. We say no. Instead of them to pay us, we we are the one who contribute money for the uh, for the uh, join. Say if we die because of Biafra, we are grateful that we will make sure that we, Biafra will restore. See. Thank thank you very much, my brother. Please, can I know you? My name is Bright Nyanko. I'm from Abia State, from West Local Government of Walasa, in Biafra land. Uh, yesterday, I called our CSO to ask him how far our movement, we, our movement we are going to make. And he, he now asked me, where am I now? I told him that I'm on my way to the war. He said I should run down to the room that I, I come and meet them that they arrest one of our coordinator. So I now run down to the room that I, and meet him there. So we now sing song to the artillery. We had the arrest our brother. So immediately we reached there, they talked to one of our coordinator who spoke Finnish here, uh, who talked to you right now. So immediately we, we they talked with him, Finnish, and then, then he now tell us to go. So I immediately we turned back on our way going, they started shooting guns, shooting tear gas. So I was moving, I, 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 I don't even have anything in mind, I was moving gradually, gradually, and uh, Fortunately, I now saw some uh, policeman with that uh, uniform that dragged me from my nigga and now asked me, what happened? He said, it's, I saw that he's going to beat me and he started beating me immediately and now saw another policeman with a gun. So, they now take us to the station and carry uh, the head of the go, uh, gun and hit me for the back here. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and I, right now you... I'm having serious pain at, at this back. I can't raise this hand up. I can't make it up. You can't, you can't move your hand up yes, now. I can't move it up. I that is, can. it's like this place is out of joint. Yes, yes. This so, is terrible. And they still use the same gun and hit me and on, my, on your rib. Yes. So, before they pick us from that uh, Atlare to stay CID. So, that is what happened. And that is how... Okay. There are friends all over the world. You have seen what we are going through here in Iguacha. I want to be free. It's not a crime. But they have made us uh, uh, to be uh, strangers in our land. And now they are killing us. They are shooting at us. And uh, look at now, our people are, you know, are injured in, in, in several ways. So now, now uh, uh, you can see what is going on right now in Iguach. At this Igos, we live reporting for Family Writers Press. We are going to hear from uh, our leaders who are here, who came here to make sure that they are out of the cell. We want to speak with some of them. Okay. Your name? My name is uh, Pastor Chooks. David Iwachi. No, go, go, go. I'm in Unit uni 6. I'm a Unitary. I'm a POB member. I'm a Biafra. You speak I'm from Omaha, precisely. I'm residing in Port Harcourt, Uguacha, Biafra land. Now, what happened yesterday was something that I can't just believe that the so called country. Nigeria still having this mindset against the Biafrans. After our director must have list out so many information that the world have now recorded and discovered that we are whiter and whiter than snow. The young man that were arrested on, on drug dealing, the, this, the, the, the people in the office, the officers have made him to know that, made our officers to know that he has no hand in drug. So that's why, why when I had it, I came out as a pastor, as a minister, and stood against such injustice. And thank God for the woman, the general overall woman there, the commander there. She stood and said this is not a strong too, because they wanted to collect 100,000 naira from such a person that did not commit any offense. 
But at the end, God saw us to release, the release him yesterday. But surprisingly, when the when our men came up yesterday to still ask for the release of their of their of their brother was detained illegally. The police asked them to go back. On their way going back, the police turned, putting their guards, shooting, and among all the uh, over 100 persons that come there, or more than 100 that come there yesterday, they only succeeded in capturing small, small children among us. Why do they go for the big, 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 boy, big, big boys? They are afraid. Are they come? Are they come? Dear friends, wherever you are, these people are afraid of us. That's why they can't come against us to arrest our big boys there. They are afraid of us. And I'm saying this thing today too. We have come down here. The the commission of police have given order to release our brothers. That's one of the things also that happened to us. We are happy that they start knowing that we are whiter and whiter than snow. We didn't commit any offense. And, and, we, and they kept you here since morning up to this. Since morning we came to this place. They kept us here too. And this is time they are releasing the young, the young men. You have seen the injuries they, they sustain. We, the beer friends also, are going to help you. They are going to take care of this treatment. Whatever it will the cause, we will take care of them. Nothing will happen to them. So we are encouraging every other IPB members, every other dear friends, who those who are not in support of this thing, come out now. This is the time we are going to achieve our freedom. Okay. So come down and help us as we do it. I see. I see. I see. I see. Any, any other person? Uh, yeah. Uh, my name is Trevor Oluchuku Oduna. Okay, so from... come back. More so my concern over this case is because they are holding our our brother in the drug agency office. Then we as a body we have to decide to go and plead for our brother to be out from their cell because he did not commit any offense and they have traced everything and they find out he did not commit anything. They are still billing hundred thousand, billing them hundred thousand, hundred thousand, and there's no how we will pay hundred thousand over somebody that did not commit any offense. Then our members have to come in a court to see why they did not want to release our brother unless we pay hundred thousand. To tell them that we don't have hundred thousand, that we have present ourselves for them to find him a. Uh, as somebody that is not guilty are uh, releasing for us. At a point before we could know what is going on, the, the healers, a lot of healers have surrounded all over that place. Despite we come with peace, they, they now march on us with violence. They begin to shoot to the extent that they wound some people with, gun, with bullets in their legs. So, our people, those that are afraid, our women, people begin to run helter skelter. Nobody know where the, the, the fellow brother is going to. They, that is how we scatter. They, our people scattered everywhere. Despite some people, we are still there. Before we know what is going on, they have laid hand on our zona coordinator, and they lift him, begin to slap and hit him with their the, with their gun. So after everything, we remain in the custody to make sure with our pastor and, I gave our, it to you. I gave it. and our national deputy to make sure that they release those people. And by the special grace of God, at the end, it happens that they release the two people after some pro process. Now, we have to trace those, our brother, that they carried from that place in that uh, matter. Then we find out from Oporo, then when we report to Oporo, they say that uh, they, 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 have, they are in the uh, state CID. We from there went to state CID in town. So at the end, they couldn't allow us in. We plead, they couldn't accept our plea. Then we have to wait to see if there's any way we can see them to give them food because they haven't eaten since yesterday. They do not allow us. So it was today, very early in the morning, we have to come back to make sure that they're eating something to sustain. So after everything, but to God be the glory, 
Chukwoki Kabiam has done it. And now they are out. But we are still expecting our flags and all our property with our coordinator cap. We need it. And they should provide it to us. If they do not provide it, that's another thing. Because we will not rest. Okay. Unless they give us Biafra. Thank, thank you very much. And when this still goes a little bit. This is going to be reporting for Family Writers Press. Welcome, sir. Can we hear from you, sir? My name is uh, Otego William Major. Um, I am the Biafra Land Deputy National Coordinator. My superior just left some couple of uh, minutes ago due to some circumstance and uh, some uh, pressing issue that he was supposed to address at the moment made him to depart from our location for the moment but when he left not quite a, not quite a, a time about uh, five to ten minutes ago our brethren that were arrested because they were in solidarity with their brother one of their coordinators from rumor that at Larry zone unit uh, seven uh, by name uh, Oja uh, Ndukwe. Ndukwe, who was arrested by the Nigeria Drug Law Enforcement Agency. Uh, but uh, he was found around uh, when uh, they were on a duty to arrest uh, some uh, people that were smoking and why he was not among the people smoking. But to our greatest surprise, some of them who were, who were in the scene of the event attest to the truth, which uh, they confessed to us that actually he was not smoking when they met him and he was not even in the gathering of those who were smoking or he was out of the environment but uh, a lady that was with them in the operation was the one who arrested him outside and brought him inside where the operation was going on. So, and uh, we tried to investigate to know the reason why uh, that was done. They said because he was finding the scene of the event. And to our greatest surprise, the dealer of this very the drug was released peacefully without a problem and uh, no quarrel. We don't know how he sought himself out. But at the end of the day, we were asked to pay 100,000 naira before our brother would be, would be released. But unfortunately, as uh, IPOB, we sent people there, there for his today to investigate if he was uh, sincere or his guilty of the offense. But well, from our investigation, we discovered that he was not guilty of the offense uh, which the allegation was made on him. So we have to send our, the, we send a, a welfare officer of the Biafra Land uh, Deputy National Coordinator Office to the event and uh, to know how he can do to source, the, uh, to source for their bill for condition. But on reaching there, they give him a condition that they know that he is innocent of the, of the accused or the allegation against him, but he must pay 100,000 naira before he will, be, he will be released. So the National Welfare let them understand that he is a Biafra and uh, if he, if he commits any sin, the IPO will not come for him. But because he was unjustly arrested, that uh, he should be released unconditionally. But they refused and when the, when the office of the Biafra Land uh, Deputy National Coordinator, the Welfare Officer came and uh, he relayed the information back the national the Biafra Land Coordinator, the deputy, tried to uh, make one or two inquiries and uh, the majority of the people in the zone pledged to go in solidarity with them when they will be sourcing for his bill release. They were in solidarity with him along the line. The Islamic Republic of Nigeria, the uh, police and uh, the SARS and uh, the NGLEA start shooting at them, the police division of Okporo, Okporo division and the Lumbu police station in Aminokoro. And the Okporo police station where those, the DPO actually that perfect the killing of our people in January 20 has been transferred already. But the current DPO now that was in Okporo police station is the one that performed the operation yesterday because he called on our zonal coordinator in that room of Dara Artillery Zone to tell him uh, their location where they were marching on solidarity 
to their brother that was unlawfully arrested by the NDLEA. And the uh, Zona could not unmoral to him because the man promised to work with them. And uh, tell them that uh, he will choose to work with them so that uh, if anything that involves their member, he will seek their opinion. If that their member have any wrong attitude, so that the four police will go into this matter. But unfortunately, for the man to tell him their location and where they were going to and the reason of their solidarity march to the place, uh, it was not up to five uh, or ten minutes of the arrival. The police took over vans and surrounded there and started shooting randomly. And then, if not because of the fearless nature of the children of Yahweh, who were officiating, the security personnel who were officiating the movement, I promise you today, as we are speaking, we should have had more than 100 casualties of our people on ground. But to the glory of Yahweh, we were able to overpower them because uh, one with Yahweh is majority. And that is what gives our people life today. But on my reaching to the state side this uh, morning, and after the release of my brethren, and I discovered a sustained different degree of injury. And uh, with the zonal coordinator, now as I speak to you now, one of his eye can no longer open again, which we are planning as we are leaving this place, we are taking him straight to the hospital to see how uh, we can go about it. But we are really seeking the support and the permission of IPOP or Hello. our humble request that the Hello. IPOP in general have to do something about the off-board of divisional police and um, the Elumbu police station and the SARS uh, within the Rukboko Aziz and the Minokoro police station. They are the only police formation in River State that are disturbing our people and never, and almost all the DPO in this Aziz, if they are not from Bini, like Elumbu DPO is from Bini, and the one in of police station also is a Yoruba man, and the one in uh, 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 Minokuro, they are all house and Yoruba and the Bini people. So we really want the leadership of IPO to do something about it urgently, if not, they will demoralize our people within the houses of Okoro, uh, Enekar, Minokuro, Rumogba, and uh, uh, Kala. Uh, Kala. If not, our people will not be able to come out and, uh, and do the needful, which we are expected to do. So that is my submission and humble appeal this evening. Thank you, uh, fellow Biafra all over the world. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Um, this is still Gossi Lele Barry. Um, let's uh, interview our elder. He has been with us since yesterday on this movement to make sure that his children were released. And now they are out. We want to hear from him what he has to tell us. Welcome, sir. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, it is a very disheartening situation. We, Your name? My name is Mazi Oji, Elder Mazi Oji. Ibetram in uh, Oporo Stroke Rumudara zone and uh, it is a very disheartening situation that we are very sorry to ourselves if we don't work harder than what we are doing we are not going to anywhere the people are out to end us up what I say by the grace of Tuko Kikabiyama we cannot be ended up like this um, it happened to be that uh, my boys, my men, my children have been held behind out of nothing. But I'm happy that this evening we have brought them out without paying a dime. They asked us to be coming Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, every day, which is more than money. It is, uh, it is a very bad situation. We must end this thing once and for all. If it, it entails fighting, I, as a veteran, ready to fight. If it, it entails to kill, I am ready to be killed and let them kill me back. I don't want this to continue. We are not asking for anybody's property. We are asking for freedom. We are asking for our lives. We're asking for our children, great grandchildren, to be alive. Personally, I am a veteran. I don't think I'm looking for any other thing than whatever I'm doing now. But I'm fighting for our children, children to come. 
so that they will see greater tomorrow. So I'm saying that we should, by all means, stand firm. Anybody who is afraid should not come around us. We cannot be afraid for anything. We stand firm and wish that you could continue leading us and we'll be succeeding them. In Jesus' name we pray. He say, thank, he you. Say, thank, you, very thank you very much. I don't have much to say than what I've said. Hey, let's drive away. Okay. It's my boss. We can talk. Mm -hmm.